The World Bank came to Africa and said, Yo, Africa, my man! Would you like to borrow 60,000 trillion, 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 trillion dollars? Multiplied by 60,000 trillion dollars in interest. And you can spend that money in digging dams for your hydroelectricity. And not a single skeptical African went, wait one minute, bastards. There is no water in Africa. How the hell are we going to fill the dams without water? So we took the money. <laughs> and it's now in the robber's den called, um, what is it called? Oh, yeah, Switzerland. And so this is where we ended up where we are, because building dams in Africa is as ridiculous as holding football tournaments in Qatar. <laughs> If only there was something that was free and widely available in Africa that could be harnessed for electricity. <laughs> That's right. The sun. There was someone, though, who recognized the value of the sun, and that person was my father. And what you need to know about my dad was that he was illiterate. And this is why he had trouble recognizing which woman he was supposed to be fucking. And the reason that my father was illiterate was because my parents grew up in Kenya during the Mau Mau uprising. Do you guys know of the Mau Mau uprising? Oh, quite a few of you know of it. Yeah, if you don't know what the Mau Mau uprising was, it was when the Kenyans rebelled against the British rule because it was undemocratic. <laughs> and you know, like, we, we, Africa gets a lot of hassle about our dictators, right? <laughs> what lesson do you, think we took, do you think we took from 100 years of being fucked up the ass? <laughs> And, and Europeans are always going on and on to Africans about human rights. Having sold us into slavery for 400 years and colonized us for 100, Europe lecturing Africa on human rights is as hysterical as FIFA lecturing Nigeria on corruption. <laughs> but you know what? Nigerians are proud of it. They're like, yes, we are fantastically corrupt. It is why they had a leader called Good Luck. If your leader is called good luck, you know you need it. <laughs> it's like having a pilot called fingers crossed. <laughs> or a surgeon called oops. <laughs> and this is the thing, if your leaders call the 